The Tulsa Massacre is virtually erased from all McGraw-Hill textbooks. But you gonna learn today. This was a FUBU for us, by us area. And before you knew it, it was a black Wall Street full of affluent blacks that were doctors, lawyers, business owners, bankers. A 19 year old black shoe shiner was accused of sexually assaulting a lying ass named Sarah Page. 35 city blocks burnt to the ground. 800 lives lost. Letitia, Atticus, and Montrose have to go back into the Tulsa Massacre of 1921 to find the Book of Names. Oh my God. They had to go into the past, not changing a thing, knowing what was gonna happen. Tick and Letitia were very insensitive to Montrose's trauma. Until they had to live it. Hearing about somebody's house burning down is a, you know, it's a story. But seeing somebody burn alive. Oh, well, that's a horse of another color, okay? And Atticus had the nerve to be bitching about the fact that Montrose had a little liquor. I'd have been on crack before I jumped through that portal. Tick, do you not realize if your grandfather wasn't out here whooping ass like Joe Jackson, Hugh, Hugh, you, and you wouldn't even be here right now? If Montrose never got whooped in that yard, he never would have ran off. And Dora and George would have never gone after him. They would have been burning alive with everyone else. Yeah, Tick, you had some scars from getting your ass whooped, but did you die though? Ass whoopings were a blessing. They were melodies from heaven. There were many times throughout this episode where I wanted to be like, I can't finish this episode because it's too much. The only thing I ever wanted to be was your father. When Tick picked up that bat and realized it was him the whole time. It was him. It was him the whole time. I was crying like hell. You were born to be a soldier. You were born to be a protector, a provider. You were walking into your destiny. Load up the choppers like it's December 31st. I got you, kid. This is what we talk about, our ancestors guiding us, our loved ones never leaving us. Tick existed in the past. He existed in the future. He existed in the present to help his ancestors and his loved ones. It was too much. It was too much. Um, so I guess Tick's great, great, great grandmother crawled so Letitia could walk because she damn sure wasn't trying to run with that book of names. Come on, Letitia, she was foaming at the mouth and barely made it, girl. You, I'ma need you to run. Is it me? Or did Hippolyta's wig look extra synthetic when it turned blue? To watch Hattie and Letitia stand there and burn was the most terrifying thing I have ever seen. And Hattie, so beautiful, so accepting, knowing that Letitia was from the future. Girl, where you get them shoes from? This episode was a beautiful depiction of our pain. The Catch a Fire poem sang in the style of opera literally hit different. The things that black people have endured in this country are far more terrifying than any horror movie. But like dust, still we rise. This video is for anyone who's transcended trauma, fell along the way, and did the best they could. Thank you for watching this recap and joining me on this journey. I feel so empowered by our conversations and I hope we have more down in the comments below. This was very emotional and I would love to unpack with you guys and let's heal together.